All right, y'all. Before we start this video, um, hold on, bro. I can't talk right now. I'll call you back in a little bit. All right. Before we start this video, I just want to shout out somebody. Um, he's a YouTuber uh, that makes music. Uh, a Wallace Ox. I put the link inside the description, so y'all check below in the description. Also, the Instagram will be in the description. Whoa, guys. Do y'all see that? This is actually after the hot box. But, um, yeah. I'm breathing out smoke and shit. Be with y'all, man. Welcome to a new vlog. <clears throat> Today's basically um, a class lesson, so um, welcome to a new class lesson, if that makes any more sense. But um, it's your boy, Professor Booty Eater, back at it with another five video. Hold on, I gotta do this. Hey, ugly ass. All right, you guys. Um, make sure y'all 18 and plus. If y'all sparking up tobacco products, yada yada, etc., etc. But anyway, um. Today, man, let me show y'all what's in this backpack, man. Uh, now, keep in mind, keep in mind. This was in my backpack, bro. But imagine what's in my bank. Imagine what funds I got going. Imagine what plans I got going. So, today's video is how to get rich in 2019. Should I be with the glasses on? Or should I take them off? I don't know what I should do, man. Fuck it, man. I'll be Harry Potter for today. Alright, so look. Check me out. So... What I mean by this, look, hold on. Let me spark up real quick. Dude, this shit smells so good. It smells like... It smells like... I don't even know. It's like four different kinds and it's, it gives us one type of aroma smell. Oh, yeah. Nothing like the first hit of the day, baby. Um, but I hope y'all having a good Friday. But anyway, so let me show y'all what's in this backpack. Um, now, keep in mind, guys, like I said, we're just getting started. Like, I'm, I'm real young, I guess, in a way. Um, but I'm just getting started. That's all I got to really say. But, like, I'm about to teach y'all some things that, most people, most YouTubers, most entrepre entrepreneurs, is that how you say it? Most people like that don't really show you step-by-step -step process, right? What I have in my hand is racks on racks today. I brought some racks out, you know what I'm saying? Racks on top of motherfucking racks. A lot of people be like, bro, you don't got it like that. You don't got the racks. Those are $1 bills, yada, yada, etc., etc. All y'all niggas is wilding, bro. Look, I'm gonna teach y'all how to get it. And there's only, there's really like, I know last video I showed y'all three steps on the how to make money type shit, right? Like how to make money as far as, you know, the steps and stuff. But today I'm gonna teach y'all how to get rich, man. Like, I'm not rich, rich yet. But I'm telling you right now, by 2019, I'm gonna have everything that I ever, ever, ever wanted, bro. And people be doubting me, bro. I got I got people that that don't fuck with a nigga because they see me coming up. I got people that hate on me because they see me coming up, right? I got people that just want to kill me, bro, just because I'm coming up. Now there's consequences to this rich lifestyle. There's consequences to everything you do in life. Period. You know what I'm saying? But as far as being a person, as far as being smart enough to do what you got to do. That's where it's complicated. That's where people get it confused. You know what I'm saying, guys? So today I'm going to break down on how I'm going to get rich in 2019. And y'all can follow my steps because obviously y'all see I'm doing good. I'm not doing great, but I'm doing better than others. You know what I'm saying, guys? So let me explain to y'all. Last year, I was 18 years old, right? I'm now 19 years old. But last year when I was 18 years old, my 18th birthday... I was at, I think it was Dave and Buster's or something like that. And 
And I told myself, guess what I told myself? I told myself, I would never go broke again. NBA lifestyle never broke again. Guess what the hell happened since that day I promised that? I got off my ass, bro. I told myself I'm already 18 years old. When you were 17, you spent 9 months in jail, 10 months in jail. I was only out 2 months when I was 17 years old, y'all. 3 months, max. I spent 9 months in jail, 17 years old. My whole childhood was wasted in jail. From 12 years old to 17 years old, that's when my last case was brought up. I've been getting in trouble back to back with the police. Back to back to back to back. And I'm not gonna lie. Down that road is wrong. Down that road, you're paying lawyer fees. You're, you're paying your own hard, precious time. There's no bails when you're a juvenile. So that's the most craziest part about it all. Is if you come in on a Friday, you gotta wait till Monday to get out. If. Usually you got a pending two weeks. You're detained. This gives you a good two weeks to learn your lesson, to think about life. This gives you a good two weeks to think about your actions and what you did to get there. You know what I'm saying? And um, that being said, it's just like, it's kind of scary how people, people just like don't care and they just be killing people and robbing people, like not even worried about the consequences when I know myself there's consequences. Even if you don't get caught, there's still consequences as far as karma, as far as how you're going to get judged in life. Like I said, there's a bunch of real things that people do that makes them real. There's a bunch of fake things that people do that makes them fake. Now, I know some real people that I thought they were real, but their actions are fake as fuck. And I'm, I i don't mean to cuss, but when I cuss, it's just because like, I mean it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really serious about this. If I think you're real, keep it real with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever show me you're fake because guess what? Once you show me you're fake, I ain't going to be chilling with you, bro. I ain't going to be with the fake people. I'm going to be with the eagles trying to spread my wings and fly. I ain't going to be with some chickens, you know what I'm saying, staying on the ground and shit. Nah, man, nah. You got to separate yourself from the real, from the fake. And that's step one of today's video. That's how I got in my position today. I'm still going through some stuff. I'm still going through some phases, you know what I'm saying? I'm still thinking about how to do this. This is just the beginning. People think this is going to be forever. Y'all think y'all going to have me forever? Fuck no. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm going to be up here, bruh. And y'all up here. And I'm going to be passing y'all up here. That's my goals. You know what I'm saying? Other people's goals, they're like, they don't really care. You know what I'm saying? But me and my, and my goal in life is to be the biggest. You know what I'm saying? The biggest. And when I was young, I, I wanted to be in this position that I am today. And I am in this position today, and it's kind of amazing. Um, but let me show y'all how, how I get some money, man. So, I'm real smart. I pay my bills. I do got bills to pay, even though y'all like... Y'all probably don't think I, I pay bills, but I pay fucking bills. I help family out. When my family needs something, I, I help them out, you know what I'm saying? And that's facts. You can't tell me I don't because I fucking do, you know what I'm saying? So, look, I pay my own bills. I pay my car insurance. I pay for my own gas money. I pay for everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Like, as far as... Y'all know what I mean. On top of that, I still make profits. I still make money. Which is pretty ironic because a lot of people, they be like, bro, I pay rent. I can't stack up because I have to pay rent. I have to do this. I have to do that. But guess what? There's paying rent and they're saving money also. So, when it's time to pay something, guess what I do? A week before I pay that bill, I situate it. I get it paid the week before. Like, I have it ready, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, so if I don't have a bill ready to be paid, like if, I, if I'm if i late on a payment, sometimes it's okay, sometimes you could do that, but some places wouldn't allow it. So therefore, since you don't have the rent money, you lost out on this thing or whatever, you know, you're set back. Now, you could either take this set back and realize what you did and next time you could overcome it because you already realized what you have done or you could just take this l and sit on this l and not solve your problems see i'm the type of guy to solve my problems other people out there they don't solve their problems like how can you know you could fix a problem and you see it but you don't solve it that's the type of people i don't like i like the people that see the problems they know they can solve it even if it's hard but if you know you could do it 
through some type of way and you do it, I fucking love y'all guys. I love people like that. Those are the people that I fucking would die for. Me, I'm so fucking... I, pe people that know me, bro, they fucking, they know ex everything, bro. Like, they know I'm such a genuine person, bro. I'm so good to people, bro. Like, I'm never fake. I'm never fucking doing something fake. And no one can tell me I'm fake, bro. That's, that's why I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror... And I see a real ass bro. I, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see a real ass person, bro. And I'm just like, damn. That's you, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nothing more better than to appreciate yourself. Y'all like, bro, what the fuck does this have to do with money? It has everything to do with money. Yourself being, the way you pay your bills, the way you procrastinate, this has everything to do with money. Because guess what money is? time and guess what time is money if you're wasting time you're not paying bills you're losing this right you took an l you have a chance to make that a w if you don't you're gonna take another l probably in the future and that's just you're just gonna stack l's i'm trying to stack w's yeah i took some l's yeah i took some losses yeah i got some shit happened to me but at the end of the day i'm still here right I'm still lasting, I'm still doing my thing, and I'm still moving forward as far as in life. I never thought I'd be back, like, I don't know how to explain this, but I was locked up for a long time, and I was losing my mind. I had a girl that, that was out there cheating on me, and I fig I thought, you know, I thought I could just uh, come out. And my girl was not, everything was going to be happy, you know, like a fairy tale or something. No, when you locked up and your girl's out here, you don't know what the hell she's doing, bro. Who she's with, none of that shit. So, I had to stop. I had, Really, when I broke up with my girl, guys, that that's when I cut my girl off. And I cut fake friends off. And that's when I started moving up in life, like for real, for real. Like I started... Just making moves by myself in my mind and just thinking ahead of time. Like I said, when my bills were, my, when my bills are ready to get paid, I think a week ahead and how I'm gonna pay that bill. And I put that above my priorities. I put that above shopping. I put that above this. I put that above going out to eat when I have food in the fridge. You know what I'm saying? You got food in the fridge, whether or not it's some fucking cheap stuff or it's some expensive, some good stuff. If you got it in there. Do what you got to do, and if you got bills to pay, and you're like, oh, should I buy this if I go shopping? And Just think about, add up your money, situate it. That's why I call situating your money, is when you add it up, you subtract it by this much, and you realize how much money you have and how much you started off with. And if you take an L from whatever you pay, make sure you find a plan by next week at least to make that money back. You know what I'm saying, guys? This is really the steps that I could not explain to y'all on camera. It's really hard to explain and it's so much to learn about this stuff. Let me just pull back in. That's the type of shit I do. I forget my lighter. I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to go all the way back home. <laughs> I'm like, no. Why? Why? Why'd you do this to me? But when I was broke, guys, I had no hope. I had no motivation. Nobody was, no friends was, was there for me. I had one homie. He was also broke. I had homies that were broke. And we would chill and link up together because we were broke. And we would combine our money to buy something. Or you know how it is, guys, in the block and the hood and all that good stuff. But um, I had people that were broke around me and those are the people that kind of lifted me up it kind of made my day go by but i used to be so broke i used to i used to nah i'm just kidding so i used to be so broke bro that nobody really like fucked with me bro like i used to i used to be so broke i used to i, I wouldn't smoke good nothing like that obviously because i was broke and in those days People would tell me, like, I, I had money before I was broke, and I used to fall off, that's the thing. So people would, like, tell me, oh, man, you fell off, or this and that. And those things really kind of brought me down at the same time, and it really motivated me to prove people wrong. Like, when I was in the placement facility for, it was a six to nine month program, right? Your boy did four and a half months. Best 
kid ever there. You know what I'm saying? And I beat anybody's record ever in that placement facility. The first one to ever get out the quickest. Now, I, I did that because people would tell me. When I first got there, people said, Oh, we hear that all the time. That people are going to get out of here so fast. Oh, we hear that all the time. And everybody was doubting me. And I loved it. I loved like I did it, it brought me down a little. I was like, you know what? They're probably right. But in my mind, I was like... You, like I told y'all, if y'all have problems and you know you can solve them, and you don't solve them, you're stupid. Stupid. Ugly ass. But me, I solve our problems. And the, 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 the way to solve this problem is be good. Good behavior gets you out. Now, it was so hard, guys. I'm telling you, I was so close to just, like, not getting out the quickest. But I proved every single person in there wrong. People thought they were punking me out. Like, because they, they wanted to fight me, of course. They saw I was the best kid there. You know what I'm saying? I was the best kid trying to get out the quickest, and I was doing an awesome job at it. Other people, they took advantage of that. They knew I didn't want to get in trouble, and they knew I wouldn't risk my freedom for their petty ass whatever they're talking about. But today, I got time. I got time, cuz. Come meet me today. I'll beat your ass, boy. All y'all niggas, bruh. I'll beat all y'all niggas up. And that's facts. I did not fight none of y'all, and that's because I was in jail. Who the fuck is stupid? I thought I had a girl waiting for me, you know what I'm saying? I thought I had a girl. I thought I had... you. I did have the YouTube, you know what I'm saying? We were almost at a, a thousand subscribers at the time. So I had, like, a life ahead of me, bro. I didn't want to waste that, and I already wasted enough of my childhood. So I was like, bro, I can't fight. I got to do good, you know what I'm saying, guys? And I just wanted to get out so that way I could stack up by the time I was 18 years old. Because I wasted all my teen years, my childhood, in fucking jail. So I knew what I, I knew what I was doing and I knew what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, a lot of people be like, bro, you got money, but even you can't spend it. Homie said that he's from Africa. That's how he talks. He's like, even you can't spend that money. I'm like, bro, yes, I can spend this money. People, thought, people think that that money is, oh, shit. I know y'all saw that. People think that my money is not my money because I don't spend it. My money is my money because I don't spend it. Do you understand that shit? I don't spend my money, so I stack that shit. Y'all spending money, but y'all not stacking it. So yeah, y'all may have a little better this and that. Okay, that's cool. But what really matters is what's in your bank account. And what plans you got in the future. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? That's what really matters, guys. A lot of people, and I get this almost on the daily. Why don't you buy this? Why don't you buy that? It's not that I can't. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I I have priorities and I put them first. I got bills to pay and I stack up at the same time. Um, Christmas, of course, I'm going to buy me probably like a new chain and probably a new ring, new bracelet. I don't know. Something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for Christmas. But that's for Christmas. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, I sip lean, uh, green lean. Y'all like, why you sipping green lean? I drive. If I drink codeine, I'm going to be slumped behind the wheel. No, I'm not doing all that. I drive on the daily. There's a thing for everything I do. You know what I'm saying, guys? You guys, so um, basically what it comes down to making money in 2019 is just like how I tell y'all, I pay my bills a week ahead. Not pay them, I mean... Think about them one week ahead, right? Just imagine one year ahead right now. 2019, one year ahead. What do you see yourself doing? What do y'all see yourself doing? Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, this is our year. 2019 is our year. This is... When, it, when 2018 came up, I thought it was my year. I'm not going to lie. It is my year. Look, we came up rowdy. Matter of fact, we did. We lost the channel in 2018. We lost 25,000 subs. We were grown. We had over 3 million views on that channel. Right? We lost it. I, I told myself, damn, I thought 2018 was going to be my year. So disappointed in myself. Asked my peoples in a stool, everybody. They, they saw that, that, that spark that just wasn't there no more. Right? And I'm just like, I can't, I can't do this. I can't live my life like that. I can't. What the hell? 
I started my, like, I started that YouTube somehow, so I knew I could do it again. And I never gave up. I stayed positive and I told y'all I would get it back. So this time, it's different. We got, we're not worried about the subscribers no more. Now we're worried about this money. Like I told y'all, we will come up. And we did. And we did it fucking 20 times better. Thank y'all for that. We're going to do this for the money as well. 2019, I guarantee you I will be rich. Y'all mark my words today. I will be rich in 2019. And I'm the type of person to prove everybody wrong. This is me waving the LG right now as we speak. Driving a Benzo. That's not the newest one, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I love my Benz, though. I, I put so much work into this whole, like, I don't even want to sell it because I put so much work. I'm afraid to buy a new car, and it's not even going to be as good as this one. That's why I'm afraid. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, I got to do this with this new car and do this and that. And Benzes are expensive when you got work done. And if I'm going to get a newer one, I got to make sure this is awesome. Because if it's not, I got, if I have to do work on a newer Benz, it's going to be more problems, more money, and just bullshit. So I'm thinking ahead. That's what y'all should do. Always think ahead and y'all ever spend any type of money. I don't care if it's a dollar. Think about what's going to happen after you spend that dollar and after, you know what I'm saying, how you're going to get that money back. Because me, I don't like spending money. I spend money, I make that shit right back. And if I don't make it back, I'm going to wake up the next day and be like, damn, I got to get that money back. And that's just me. That's every hustler out there. And what I mean by hustler, I'm not meaning any legal stuff. A hustler is a hustler. Hustler means you could sell anything from a cap on the floor to water to a to from a beach. You know what I'm saying? Like you could sell water to a fish type shit. Fire to a dragon. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know how to explain it. Real hustlers know what I'm saying though. You could sell anything. You could sell anything. I'm telling you. If you know what a real hustler means. That's what it is. But 2019 is all you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll be back at it with some more fire videos. Oh. Dang.